So when is the AE Piano Particles tutorial coming? Waiting awesome, for a very bad I would really love if you can make some kind of oh, tutorial awesome. how to make particles smile. Awesome. 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 In this video, I'll be showing you how I made the video you're seeing right now, all in Adobe After Effects. For your information, this is the official music video of my first composition, Foggy Dream, and you can click on the link in the top right corner if you want to watch it. Alright, that's the only promo that I'm going to throw at you, I promise. You will need the following files to create a similar video. 1. An overhead recording of you playing a song. 2. A Synthesia video generated by your playing. And 3 an audio file also generated by your playing. If you know how to make those files, you're good to go. And if you don't, click on the link which will appear in the top right corner right now. That's another tutorial I made last year and it shows exactly how I make those files. Watch that video from the beginning till 4 minutes and 41 seconds and come back here. Just to clarify, there are many ways to make these types of videos. As always, I'm just showing you how I make them and the programs I use do cost money, unless you're an illegal little weasel, but that's none of my business. Now I will show you which programs and plugins I use for my videos. The most important program I use is Adobe After Effects. It's a video editing program in which you can, for example, add special effects like particles. For your information, I will put the links to download the programs and plugins with the prices down in the description. Now let's finally open After Effects. I had some problems using the 2019 version as the particle plugin called Motion Factory, which I will introduce in a minute, wasn't compatible with the 2019 After Effects version. So at the moment, I'm using the 2018 version. As soon as After Effects has opened, we can start a new project. And then go to the right to Effects and Presets and search for Particular. If this plugin doesn't appear in your After Effects, go to the description of this video and click on the second link to download it. The student price for this plugin is $199 at the moment, and I'm aware that that's pretty expensive, but I didn't find anything cheaper that worked. And this is basically the plugin that allows you to make particles. So if any of you have a cheaper solution for this, please write it in the comments. With the Particular plugin, you'll be able to make simple particles like the ones I used in the top half of Foggy Dream or the cloudlets I used in my Nuvole Bianche cover. If you want more fancy particles like the clouds in the bottom half of Foggy Dream, you can download Motion Factory by Pixflow. It's free, but you need to have trap code Particular for it to work. This is how the plugin looks like. Go to the third link in the description of this video to see how to download it. There are some big YouTube piano accounts who have really cool special effects on their videos and they are using this plugin or at least a very similar one. Alright guys, finally we're going to jump into the part where we're actually going to make the video. So I made a new file and now I'm going to import the files that I was talking about before. I already chose the folder here, so we're going to go for the audio, the bottom recording and the Synthesia part. So first up, we're going to choose the bottom recording, drag it here onto this little thing, and it's going to create a new composition for us. And then depending on from where exactly you filmed, you're probably going to have to scale up your video a little bit, like so, and maybe move it to the left or to the right, or up or down, more or less like this. Close enough. And after that, we're going to drag the Synthesia part down here. And we can also transform it here. Um, we're going to put the anchor point to about 948 and 830. If these numbers that I'm putting in here don't work for you perfectly, you know, just move it around how, how you want. Use these numbers here to change it. And then to get rid of this bottom part here, we're gonna have the Synthesia video selected. Go here to the rectangle tool and draw a mask like so. So we only see 
um, the part from the Synthesia video which is inside of this mask. And then finally, we're going to drag down the audio file to here. So now what we have to do is move these three files around so they will be synced. So we're going to zoom in here a bit to the beginning. And you're going to see that the Synthesia video starts about here. And the bottom recording starts somewhere here. So we're going to choose the bottom recording and move it back here. And then the audio, we can see the waveform here. And that's pretty much at the point where we want it. And then guys, just like scroll in here all the way. And then just move these three parts to the place where they are exactly synced. And you can do this frame by frame so you can do it really exact. So now that we have the base of the video all set up, we're going to choose the three single parts and pre-compose. And this will basically make a package out of those three parts. And I'm going to name it Setup. Have everything chosen like it is here. Click OK. And then we're going to choose this new generated setup composition. And we're going to pre-compose it again. I'm going to name this one pre-comp1 and again move all attributes. Then double click on this pre-comp1 and then we're going to go over here to effects and presets and search for extract and then drag this on the video. And then we're going to set the black point to about 165 and the softness to about 10. And as you can see, this will get rid of the background in Synthesia. Then we're going to search for gradient ramp. Also drag it here in the middle. And then we can choose the colors that we want here. Um, we're going to go maybe from a kind of a bright purple to a more full purple here. Something like that. And then we're going to go back over here where we see pre-comp 1. And then once again, we're going to pre-compose this to pre-comp 2. Click OK. Then we're going to go ahead and duplicate this. On my computer, it's Command D. And then we're going to change the name of 1 to pre-comp 3. Now, while having pre-comp 3 selected, we're going to go to the rectangle tool and make a thin layer here on the very bottom where those Synthesia keys hit. And that will be the area where the particles will be emitted from. And now we're going to drag the setup composition here into the timeline on the bottom. And we're going to have to move that to the right place again so it's synced. And now we're going to choose pre-comp to go on the rectangle tool and put a mask over the top half of that video. And that will have the effect that only the top half of the pre-comp to composition will be visible. And with these numbers, you're going to have exactly the top half. 0, 0. 1920 is the amount of pixels we have horizontally and 540 pixels are half of the pixels we have vertically. And then we're going to choose the setup composition and draw a mask around the bottom half of the video. And do the opposite here. There we go. By the way, if you're having some troubles with these numbers, if it's not adding up, please do remember that in the first composition that I made, in the bottom recording composition, I set 1920 and 1080 pixels. So if you have those same settings, then you should be able to type the same numbers here as I just did and have the same effect as me. So that already looks kind of like the Foggy Dream video. Please do note that I already made the Foggy Dream video before this, and this is just 
me making it again so it won't be exactly the same for example these colors aren't exactly the same now we're going to choose the pre-comp 3 here pre-compose it and name it pre-comp 4 and then we're going to choose the pre-comp 4 here and make it a 3d layer by clicking this little box here so now is a good time to save your project we're going to continue with the particle settings all right, so first we're going to create a new solid and we're going to name it particles. Click OK. And then we're going to go to the effects and presets and search for particular. And we're going to drag this on here. And then we're going to go to the settings here, emitter. And we're going to change the emitter type to layer. And then we're going to go to the layer emitter. And then we're going to choose pre-comp 4 here. And then I'm going to set the resolution to about a third here. Just so the preview loads a bit faster. And then we're going to pump up the particles per second to about a hundred thousand and then we're gonna go to the particles here we're gonna make them a bit bigger we're gonna change the opacity to maybe 60% change the particle type to cloudlet and then we're gonna go down here to physics and then we're going to change the gravity to about minus 25, the physics time factor to about 1.2. And then just to see how this looks, we can click somewhere where we want to see a preview and hit the space bar to play the whole thing. And then we can play it back in full speed and see how that looks. And as you can see, that doesn't look so good in my opinion at least, but we created the effect that the particles are emitted automatically. And now it's really just editing the right numbers so it will look better. Now I adjusted the particle settings so they look better. I already let a little time frame load and I'm gonna play it now by clicking the space bar. So this is how it looks now. Here I'm blending in the values I put in the settings. And now all you have to do is adjust those values so the particles look exactly how you want them to. Down in the description I put some info links so you can read about which setting has which effect on the particles. A short but very important thing that I would like to mention is turn these two audios off. Then your audio will be exactly as the one that you imported here in the original setup composition. Now I will show you how I made the fog particles in the bottom half of the foggy dream video. First we're going to duplicate the pre-comp 4 composition. Then I'm going to rename that. You can do whatever you want here. I do MF for Motion Factory because that's the plugin that we're going to use for this. And then we're going to go to the extensions Motion Factory. Then we're going to go down to the smoke effect here, choose the brush, and then draw an area here where the particles will be emitted more or less. And then hit apply brush. I'm not really an expert in using this particle builder plugin, so I also put a link in the description if you want to learn more about it. Then we're going to go over here and click somewhere in the timeline of the video. Now you see these smoke fog type particles coming up here. We're going to change the settings by double clicking here, clicking on particle settings, and then editing these numbers. Here you can see the numbers I used. And after that, we're going to click back here. Now we can close the motion factory window and I'm going to go ahead and lower the opacity a bit here of the smoke particles 
to about 70%. And this is pretty much our end result. And now I'm going to show you how I render my videos. This is how I render my After Effects projects. I go to File, Export, and Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. This is how it should look when it opens up. And this is the file we want to render. So we're going to click here. Here you can choose the video format, the name you want the exported file to have. And then I always choose here, use maximal render quality. And then you can click OK. And here you can say where the file should be saved. And after that, we can click the green arrow up here to start the rendering. Now I'm going to show you the final output of the rendering. It would take days to render the whole video on my laptop, so I just exported a little sample for you. The video that I rendered is 6 seconds long, has a resolution of 960 by 540, and took about 5 hours to render on my laptop. It takes my laptop several days to render a full video, so I recommend you to have a computer with at least twice the performance as mine. Of course, you can also make a video like this on a laptop like me, but you just have to be really patient with it. Here you can see the specs of the laptop that I'm using to create my videos. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Here's another video I made with this method. The song is called Volkentanz and it's my second composition. And this may not be the perfect way to make particles, but so many people ask me to make a tutorial and I just wanted to show everyone how I make my videos. I hope you see that creating a video like this for the first time will take you at least a few days. If you have any questions, just write them in the comments, I'll be happy to answer you. If you're able to make your own particle video, please consider mentioning my channel in the description and share the link to your video down in the comments. Thanks so much everyone for watching, and if you found this helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Much love from Zurich, Gustav Eistep.